the Sugar Bowl. Kalen DeBoer, the head coach of the Huskies, joins us now. So, Kalen, we've asked a lot about the night before. Probably not a lot of nervousness on your part. What was the anticipation like as you waited to see where you'd be ranked and who you'd play? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's a little different for me than it was uh, like for Coach Sark, like you just talked with. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was an enjoyable day. Uh, it was a short week for us from the, the, the last game of the regular season, our Apple Cup game, um, and the quick turnaround to the Pac-12 championship. And we knew we, uh, we needed to win that football game. And so hats off to our coaching staff and our players for grinding through the week, uh, putting a great game plan together and going out and executing it. But uh, it did allow for a, a very enjoyable day yesterday, you know, a chance to watch some college football, kind of be a fan. Uh, make some plans, make some preparations, kind of get ready for the other things our job uh, has in store. But uh, it was a good day. You've navigated your way as a head coach through playoff brackets so many times before winning national championships at Sioux Falls. This is a smaller bracket, obviously. How does that experience and the winning experience you have in playoff settings help you as you enter this playoff? Yeah, I think it's all about just uh, enjoying the competition. Um, being in the moment, enjoying, uh, you know, the challenge, the opportunity that you have, um, you know, win or go home, um, you know, there's something different about it than, you know, knowing, hey, you're going to go to a bowl game, um, you know, and that's where we're at now. And so, um, it, you know, we kind of felt like maybe we were in that position last week and even the latter part of the season to get to this point and be a part of the playoff, um, you know. We knew we needed to win each and every game. And so, uh, you know, the mindset uh, of just uh, enjoying, you know, the challenge, embracing it, um, you know, that's what it's all about. And so it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun here getting ready for the semifinal game. Coach, I asked you midseason uh, how you guys manage keeping your receivers so fresh with going deep so much, but clearly you've managed Dylan Johnson very well also. Uh, can you talk about how important he has been uh, to your team's success and your offensive success? Yeah, it's been really critical. He's just gotten stronger and stronger, and you know, attribute that to uh, to everyone on the offense, uh, the offensive line. You know, starting with them and just how they've continued to grow. And um, you know, we've got a few guys back, uh, just injury wise up front too. And so, you know, DJ's just uh, stayed the course and um, you know, took taking care of his body. And uh, he's just a true competitor. I mean, just the the, the way he played, uh, not just last week, the last half of the season. Um, you know, he's he's a physical guy, but uh, uh, he's just uh, been up to the task. And so, you know, it's been really critical for our team uh, to be balanced, uh, for our offense to be balanced, not just be a team that can throw it, but have the ability to run it as well. Coach, congrats on the terrific performance on Friday night. That was captivating television as we were glued to our screen. You guys have found a way to win in a bunch of different ways this year, whether it's defensively against Arizona State, timely plays offensively against pretty much everyone you played or whether it's the fourth down conversion attempts against Oregon the first time around. So knowing that you guys have won a variety of different ways, what does that say about the type of team you've built and knowing that you don't necessarily always have to take one pathway to victory? Yeah, I'm extremely proud of that. And I think it gives our whole team just a lot of confidence each and every night when we step on the football field, um, you know, offensively, defensively, special teams, they've all had to be, They've all played critical roles in us uh, getting to this point, um, you know, being undefeated. And so, uh, you know, each and every week, uh, just every every phase of the game, knowing that, uh, you know, they got to do their part and uh, be ready when it's called upon. And uh, a complete team is what it takes when you get to this point of the year. We're going to face, you know, a great football team in Texas. And, uh, you know, we need to be at our best and in all areas. Hey, Coach Booger here. First of all, being from Louisiana, make sure when you get to New Orleans, you get yourself a nice beignet and tell them Booger sent you. <laughs> Second of all, uh, okay. as you look at this matchup with Texas, uh, thoughts on it early? Very explosive offense when it comes to the Texas Longhorns. Initial thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I've caught a little bit, uh, you know, throughout the year here and there, but uh, the familiarity would come from you know, the Alamo Bowl a year ago uh, when we played them at the end of the season. So, you know, Coach Sark, uh, you know, just done a great job there, uh, continuing to grow the team there in, in year three. And, um, you know, we maybe uh, last year didn't see everyone. There's been additions to their roster, additions to our roster. Uh, but there is an understanding that, hey, it's going to be a physical football game. They're going to be well coached. Um, you know, there's playmakers, uh, you know, in all areas that they'll uh, put on the football field. And uh, it's going to be a great battle, you know, one we're really excited for. 
Kaylin, congratulations. Remarkable success in a very short period of time at Washington. Always a pleasure. And hey, don't start punting on fourth and one from your own 29 now, okay? <laughs> Now's no time to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I appreciate you guys. Here's the great Kaylin DeBoer taking Washington in the playoff. Second trip for the Huskies into the college football playoff. Give something.